my name's Dave and this is my dog Logan <laughs> out on another walk in the new forest thanks for joining us now today we're sort of halfway between Ringwood and Burley not far from a, a little hamlet called Hightown just uh, south of the A31 and we're going to be doing well a sort of meandering route around the area mainly on Heathland on the face of it looking at the map there might not be much to see but in fact you'd be surprised what there is out there and in particular I'm going to be trying to see if I can find evidence of an old Victorian rifle range so do join us let's go well I've parked the car at a place or well, a forestry commission car park called Smugglers Road Car Park which is um I say just uh, to the east of Ringwood it's a beautiful day it's March the 3rd it's about three degrees so although spring is round the corner it is quite a little bit chilly I'm going to start by heading north and going up the said Smugglers Road so if I turn the camera around you can see exactly what I'm looking at now for over 150 years in the 18th and 19th century smuggling or free trade as some might put it was a really big part of New Forest life very much inevitable due to the punitive taxes imposed by successive governments to fund wars in in Europe it was mainly brandy tobacco tea and lace which were the most heavily taxed goods and uh, this smuggler's road which I'm <laughs> popping and panting already to get up uh, what it actually shows on the Ordnance Survey map and it leads all the way up to a place called Ridley Wood and uh, that's one of the highest points of the forest because it was easy to spot revenue men there where there was a, a type of smuggler's market and of course we're not that far from the village of Burley which again that was a a smuggling area in fact it was almost a no-go area for the revenue men but uh, this really is quite glorious so I'm puffing and panting you, you'd never believe I do a bit of running from time to time I'm a little bit stiff actually I did the uh, the Brighton Half Marathon about a week ago I'm still recovering from that <laughs> just made my way off the heath for a little bit uh, right on the edge of the the new forest boundary I just want to show you this cottage Knaves Ash which has got a lot of history attached to it it was once the home of a well-known smuggling family in the forest well, it's taken me a little while to find what I'm just about to show you <laughs> it's uh, an old new forest boundary stone and uh, according to the map there are something like four of these in a dead straight line you can see why I nearly missed it oh step over the uh, get with the barbed wire Logan. good boy so it looks like it's got the words or letters R-I-N that could stand for Ringwood I guess and I think the date says 1888 but there we are hidden in the uh, hidden in the undergrowth of course although that's the new forest boundary the new forest national park boundary uh, that extends for 
another couple of miles or so to the west. I think it goes all the way up to the, uh, the River Avon. Right, let's see what else we can find. Well, now heading east and right in the middle of a bunch of pine trees, a couple of buildings. If you're coming here and wondering what they are, I can tell you. It's the Naves Ash Pressure Reducing Station <laughs> for gas. And I believe there's a, a 16 inch gas pipe that goes from here all the way across the forest. And I can smell something. I think we'll move on. <laughs> We're just by the side of a road, a lovely preserved milestone which uh, I'll point out. I think this is actually listed believe it or not and if you're in the area be, you'll probably come across quite a few of these floating around. I believe they're well they're 19th century. A chap called Thomas Eyre who administered the Burley estate between 1780 and 1829 and he placed quite a few of these around the area but um, Quite a nice touch. Well, I'm now back at the car park. I've done a sort of figure of eight loop. I'm just about to go south and go on the main part of the walk. But I should, thought I'd show you the view from this little hill and it is absolutely gorgeous. It really is. I'll pan round. Uh, far distance is uh, Burley over there. Or well, Burley's behind the hill. It's an Iron Age hill fort on the top, Castle Hill and uh, Logan and I did a walk there not that long ago. Um, I'll put the link up, it was a lovely walk it was. And then this is just looking north. So it's an absolutely gorgeous day for, for being out. Chilly yes, but glorious sunshine and lovely and fresh. And uh, one of the challenges this winter has been keeping away from mud. It's been the wettest February on record I believe but uh, out here on the sand it's not too bad but isn't that beautiful and that's where we're going to be heading due south. Well I said right at the beginning I was uh, hopefully going to find some evidence of an old Victorian rifle range and I did find an old map and according to that it should be just over my left shoulder so I'll just pan round to show you the area. It was called the Strodgemore Volunteer Rifle Range, established in 1895. It was only about 600 yards long. Now, I can't, there are ones, I can just about make out four or five mounds out there, which is where the shooting positions would have been. And right in the far distance, there's a clump of. Um, of pine trees and that's where the targets were so that's where we're going to head see if I can find any further evidence there you know there's so much to to see out here if you just know where to look just above me to the left that's the remains of an old I think it's a Bronze Age barrow it's about 21 meters in circumference a um, couple of meters high with the well there would have been a ditch around it but it's been infilled now um, a good vantage point for views that's for sure well I'm gonna have to stop and admire the view again <laughs> so the whole area around here is the um, Kingston Common uh, National Nature Reserve and it's uh, uh, a good area for bogs and 
birds such as the Dartford warbler and um, uh, woodlark uh, love the area. I'm just going to pan round one more time. <laughs> I mean, I mentioned bogs. There are a couple of bogs. There's one to the south called Cranes Moor Bog, and one to the north called um, uh, I think it's called Vale Moor. And uh, well, the um, I know the uh, the Cranes Moor Bog is one of the deepest in the New Forest, and in parts the overlying peat is something like. 20 to 22 foot deep in places. Well, finally made it to the uh, area that would have been the the target area um, for the uh, the rifle range and uh, yeah if I look just look back this is looking north obviously these trees wouldn't have been here and I look though they've been self-sown and then just panning around this is the raised area that would have uh, the target would have been on in fact, on an Ordnance Survey map, this area is called the Butts because going back even further in time, uh, it was used for archery practice. Well, I was just about to turn round and head back to the car when I spotted this at the side of the, um, the Butts. Are you going to have a look for us, Logan? No, I'm it does look more Second World War-ish rather than uh, going back to the Victorian range. I must admit I wasn't expecting to see it. Some little bunker of some sort. Um, I'll have to look that up when I get back. <laughs> it doesn't look as though it goes back far. So some sort of... Well, I won't say what it is because I don't know what it is. <laughs> Well, folks, we've come to the end of our walk. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give us a, a like uh, and a comment and do subscribe. And that way you can join us, hopefully, for another walk sometime in the New Forest. Now, Logan and I are going to go back to Hightown and in particular the Elm Tree Pub for a bowl of piping hot soup. So in the meantime, thanks for watching and cheerio. Possible squirrel activity here.